Hello, welcome to another video of CS106A, Assignment 4, Milestone 1, Part 1. And right now what we're trying to do is get this um, <clears throat> console version of the Hangman to work. And this will be Kai, I'll take you through it. I did a video on this before, and basically after looking at it I realized that this could have, could have been done in a much easier way. And so instead of starting straight into the program, what I should have done is um, kind of go over what we need to get done. So basically as you can see here on the right we have two run throughs of the console. <clears throat> one where you lose, one where you win. We have to be able to set up the game and we have to be able to play it by putting those guesses and updating it to see if those guesses actually match any of the words inside our mystery word. Now <clears throat> to better understand this, uh, let's take a look at what we want to get done. Um, as you can see we have uh, two classes here. Hangman class, Hangman lexicon. In Hangman lexicon, you already have the method get word count and get word. Get word count gives you a number. Get word gives you a word associated to that number, and that would be interacted with the random generator that will generate that random number. In Hangman, we're going to go ahead and set up a couple methods. One where we set up the game, and one where we play the game. In this milestone one part one, we're just going to set up the game, and we're going to create three more methods called the word picker, word first update, and guess counter update. What that means is when we take a look at the program, word picker will help us pick out our secret word and then start us up here at the top. Word first update will create this dash right here. So the dashes that you see for the mystery word, that will be created by our method word first update. <coughs> guess counter update will uh, print out this line that says you have eight guesses left, seven guesses left, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's pretty much a print statement of what, how many guesses you have left. And that's all we're going to do for right now for a setup game. So let's go ahead <coughs> and put that off to the side. I'm going to minimize it right here. <coughs> I don't know if you can really see that. You probably can't see that, but anyways, I'll just go over it if there's any problems with it. So the first thing that we want to do is really uh, create our stubs. Okay, so we're going to create our stubs by <clears throat> going right in here. And we'll call it setup game. Okay, we'll also create our play game at the same time. Not going to do anything, but we're just going to create that. And then we're going to go ahead and put private <clears throat> void uh, setup game like that. And then we're going to do the same thing for. Uh, the creation of the play game. Okay, so <clears throat> here now what we're going to do is we're going to actually set up the game. So what do we need to do to set up the game? Well, first of all, we need to print out that title at the top. So the first thing that we want is to print out that line. Uh, Welcome to Hangman with the exclamation mark and the semicolon. <clears throat> and then after that, we want to generate our word. The word now looks like this. Okay, So to do that we're going to go ahead and um, create our print statement. So we're going to do print uh, we're going to do print the secret word. So, oh my bad. How do you print a secret word if we haven't generated the secret word? So first things first we're going to do our word picker. Okay. And so to do our word picker, we want to have it pick our secret word. Um, now thinking about that secret word, uh, it has to be a string, obviously. And string needs to be able to interact with multiple methods, preferably, because you're going to use it in different methods. So here, let's go ahead and create the instance of the string. We'll call it the secret word. Okay. <clears throat> There you go, created. And um, <coughs> we need to use a method that would pick it for us. Okay, so let's call that the word picker. Okay, so private <coughs> string and word picker. Okay, because it's going to return the string that's going to be the secret word. Okay, and we're going to put that string into our variable, the secret word. Okay, so we're going to work it like that. Um, so first, if you want to look at the methods for hangman lexicon, uh, you can return a number of 10 because there's 10 words. 
so that's cool so we can have it uh, pick a random integer value all right so again now we're into the random generator you don't want to think much about it it's just an actual uh, method that you can call from our acm.util and so we just need to be able to create an instance of it so let's create private <coughs> random generator rgen that's what we're going to call it rgen and it'll be new or not new it's different for this one random generator not get instance oops let's go back do that again there we go get instance semicolon okay so we create our instance of it we want to create a, a temporary variable that will store our int so we'll call that int word I guess index int okay so it's an int value value <coughs> and have it be randomly generated by our random generator uh, using the rgen next int okay from zero because we want to go from the range of zero these are integers to the get count and that's the problem um, if I want to call my hangman lexicon which is get word count I also have to create an instance of that as well if I want to use it so we're going to go ahead and go private uh, hangman lexicon we'll call that the hangman list words okay <coughs> equals to uh, new hangman lexicon parentheses and so we create an instance of that class so we're going to use that class in our class of hangman we can now call the methods from that class too so I will call that here our new generated name hangman list words dot and now you can see we can call the method get word count now the word count is going to be 10 right but what's the problem as you can see in our get word there is no situation of case 10 there's a case 0 through case 9 because that represents the one <coughs> the one so it goes from 0 to 9 and that's 10 of them so our random lead generated integer should be from 0 to 9 so let's go ahead and set it to minus 1 you could do it in, in a different way you can make the case from 1 to 10 but I don't want to I'm trying to not manipulate the methods as much as possible so try to keep to the program that Stanford provided to you so um, that is why I decided to use the get word count and then subtract that by one so it would be from uh, it would be a random number generated from 0 to 9 okay so taking that integer that was made from word index int, we're gonna go ahead and have it retrieve that word so we'll create a string that'll be our temporary we'll call that word selected okay so our temporary string and that would come from our hangman this words dot get word okay so we want to get the word and the index will be provided by our randomly generated int okay so the word in index int all right now having said that once you select that string of course we want to return that string so return word selected now I could have programmed that in a different way but this this also works too okay so now <coughs> our word picker will return our secret word and of course we want that secret word to be this guy right the variable secret word so we're gonna go set, go ahead and set that secret word and call that method is equal to word or not word uh, word picker so by calling that method word picker it's gonna return a string of our secret word and put that string into the variable secret word I know I use it twice but I hope that made sense we finally created a randomly generated word for our game okay so the next thing we want to do is once we picked our word we also want to um, have an update for our dashed lines right here okay so let's call that um, oh by the way you probably want to set this private so it can interact with other classes but only with class uh, with the methods in this class okay so make sure you do that not necessary but if you use the same variable names that will make a difference okay so next thing is we want to create a string 
that would be for the word that we're guessing. Okay, so let's call that guess our hidden word. Okay, so it's going to start off as dashes, and each dash is going to represent a letter in our secret word. So you have the number of dashes, which equals to the number of letters. Now, <clears throat> in order to do that, of course, we're going to have to use our second method, our word first update. And the first time it updates, it's going to update as dashes. And then we'll use another method that will check that letter in those dashes and then replace each time uh, a dash with a letter, if it matches, right? But for the first time, all dashes. So let's go ahead and create that method, private, and then we'll call that string again, and we'll call it word first update. So <clears throat> that will be done. Oh, and word first update, by the way, is word first update. Okay, so that's the first time we're going to generate that uh, method. I mean, I'm sorry, not the method, though, the word, which will be uh, which will be represented by dashes. Um, again, we can use an an internal variable here. So let's call it string result. Okay. Not too innovative, but gets the job done. And we'll put nothing inside it first. Okay, make sure it initializes as empty. And then we'll use a for loop to create those dashes for the number of letters there are in the word. So for int i equals to zero. Initialize that. i is less than the length of that secret word. See what happened now? This is where what I meant by we want to interact methods with that variable. So that's the purpose of creating a variable outside private string secret word. Now we can use that secret word in multiple methods and then have it change depending on what we want to do with it. So that's important. Uh, I is less than secret word and we want to get the length. So the length I plus plus. Okay, and each time it's going through each letter of that word. Okay, we want our result to put in a dash. So result is equal to result plus dashes. Just like that. Okay. Now, <clears throat> once it does that, of course, we want to return that. So return <coughs> that result. Okay. Because it's going to now be the replacement for our guest hidden word. So guest hidden word will be equal to when our first update occurs. Okay, so the word first update will replace the string for guest hidden word, and then it will update, you know, continuously afterwards when we start playing the game. Um, one thing I'm missing. What am I missing? Oh, yes, we got to print the statement out. So here, before we return it, let's go ahead and go print line, and we want to say the word uh, now looks like this. Boom, and that would be our result. Okay, so here, if we go through the run through, welcome to Hangman. Boom, that's in our setup game. <coughs> Pick our secret word, word picker. Okay, man, only picks our word. Um, now, the word now looks like this. That will be our word first update. It will print this out plus uh, replace the uh, string for a guess hidden word. And now we need to create our guess counter. Okay, so our guess counter update. And that will happen continuously. So private, and let's create that as a void. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're just going to have a print. So name of this um, method will be yeah the guest counter update. And we're just going to have a print. Print the new um, counter. So you have uh, I don't know uh, what's the good variable for this guest counter maybe counters. Guess less, guesses left. Guesses left. Boom. Okay, now obviously uh, by putting this in, I have to create that variable as well, which we can put up here. So private int uh, guess counter. Okay, and we'll initialize that as eight. Okay, because we have eight guesses, so we'll start off with eight. And then every time we call the guess counter update, it will print that out. So let's see here. It printed out, welcome to Hangman. It prints out the word now looks like this. Now we have to print out our guess counter update. Okay. 
and that's the whole purpose. You take the old programming that you did in assignment three and two, and now you're going to com combine that with interacting with classes, and this is what they expected. I know my last programming for this assignment was uh, very rough, but hopefully this time you can see the actual uh, outcome they're looking for. If you want something like this, where you have a bunch of methods that will uh, do each of these steps, okay? So that's milestone one, part one. In part two, uh, we'll create the play game with all the methods, and hope to see you soon. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and uh, comment. Comments are always good, so I can always have feedback and know what I need to do for you guys next time, if there's any explanation of some sorts. So anyways, thanks again. Talk to you later. Bye.